Imagine looking up at the night sky and seeing a massive flash on the moon. A blinding explosion, not from nature, but man-made. Not just any explosion, a nuclear one. Sounds insane, right? But believe it or not, this was a real plan. Not a conspiracy theory, not a movie plot. The United States actually developed a project to detonate a nuclear bomb on the moon. Let that sink in. A literal plan to nuke the moon. This was Cold War reality, and it was all part of a secret mission known as Project A119, a classified military plan created at the height of paranoia, when both the United States and the Soviet Union were locked in a deadly race, not just for weapons, but for space. And in that race, image mattered just as much as firepower. But what would make a superpower even think about nuking the moon? Let's rewind to 1957. The Cold War was reaching a boiling point. Two global giants, America and the Soviet Union, were battling for dominance on every front. Land, sea, air, and now, space. And then, out of nowhere, the Soviets pulled off something shocking. They launched Sputnik, the very first artificial satellite. It was a small, beeping metal sphere but it hit America like a ton of bricks. Suddenly, the Soviets were ahead. They had beaten the U.S. into space. American pride took a massive hit. People were scared. If the USSR could launch satellites, what else could they launch? Missiles? Nukes from orbit? The Pentagon was in full panic mode. The space race wasn't just about exploration anymore. It was a battle for survival, influence, and psychological edge. So what did the U.S. military come up with in response? A plan so dramatic, so over the top, that it still sounds crazy today. Let's nuke the moon. They weren't trying to destroy it, of course. That would take far more power than any bomb could deliver. The goal was something else entirely, a show of strength, a cosmic fireworks display, a giant, we're still the boss moment to impress the world and terrify the enemy. The project was called a study of lunar research flights, but behind closed doors, it went by Project A119. It was launched in secret by the US Air Force in 1958. And get this, the team even included a young scientist who would later become world famous, Carl Sagan. Yes, the same Carl Sagan who inspired millions with his love of science and the universe, once worked on a plan to blast the moon with a nuclear weapon. So, how exactly was this supposed to work? The plan was to launch a W-25 nuclear warhead, a smaller tactical nuke with about 1.7 kilotons of explosive power. For comparison, that's about one-tenth the size of the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. Still devastating, but not enough to fracture the moon or cause mass destruction. The idea was to detonate it on the edge of the moon where the explosion would be visible from Earth. A big, blinding flash that people around the world could witness. No telescope required. It would send up a mushroom cloud, or at least a giant dust plume, depending on how the moon's surface reacted. The military hoped it would inspire awe, fear, and remind everyone that the U.S. wasn't going to be second best in space. And the best part for the Pentagon? There would be no risk of American casualties because, well, it's the moon. No life, no people, just rock and dust. One big empty billboard for atomic power. But here's where things start to fall apart. As the scientists dug deeper, they realized the challenges were enormous. First, landing a missile on the moon accurately from Earth was incredibly risky. A slight error in trajectory, speed, or timing, and the bomb would miss the moon completely, becoming a multi-million dollar dud floating through space. Second, there were major concerns about public reaction. What if the American people didn't see it as a show of strength, but as a reckless stunt? What if the Soviets responded by doing something even crazier? And what if, heaven forbid, the explosion failed, or didn't look impressive at all? Plus, there were scientific consequences. Detonating a nuke on the moon could interfere with future space research. It might contaminate the surface, mess up future landings, or ruin the moon's natural environment before we even explore it properly. Eventually, cooler heads prevailed. In 1959, Project A119 was quietly scrapped. The military buried the files, the scientists moved on, and the world never found out. At least, not until decades later, when documents were declassified and historians uncovered the truth. And even then, many people refused to believe it. But it's real. One of the weirdest chapters in Cold War history. So what did the US do instead? Well, they doubled down on human achievement. In the years that followed, America poured money, talent, and tech into something far more ambitious than nuking the moon, sending men to walk on it. And in 1969, that dream became a reality. Neil Armstrong planted the American flag on the moon's surface not as a threat, but as a symbol of exploration, courage, and hope. And guess what? That one small step did more to win hearts and minds around the world than any bomb ever could. Looking back, Project A119 reminds us just how high the stakes were during the Cold War, and how close we came to turning space into another battlefield. It also shows how fear can lead to bizarre decisions, even trying to weaponize the moon. But in the end, we chose a different path. Not one of destruction, but discovery. So the next time you look up at the moon, think about this. Somewhere in history, 
there was a moment when it almost became the site of humanity's first nuclear explosion in space. And thanks to a change of heart, it didn't. If you enjoyed this insane true story from the Cold War era, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more mind-blowing history and hidden projects the world almost forgot.